Welcome to this segment of This Old Guy Likes to Bake, Cook, and Eat. Yes, I do. Well, today we're making a dessert, believe it or not. I know, I know, desserts. But t it's going to be, what is it called? Chocolate Dip Cannoli Cupcake. That's what we're making. Actually, mine's a double chocolate one because my cake is a chocolate one instead of vanilla. Ooh, doesn't that look scrumptious? Well, <laughs> it's my first attempt. It kind of looks good. It's edible, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this is what we're going to be making today. As you can tell, we dipped it in chocolate. You got your cannoli that we made. And then you got your cupcake with cannoli inside. Yeah. So I don't want to waste much of your time. Let's get going. We'll see how it's done. <laughs> or at least the way I did it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, you're going to start out with your favorite cake mix and uh, mix it up according to instruction. This one calls for two eggs. Actually, I should have dumped this in another dish to do it in there because if you do it this way, you get a piece of uh, eggshell in there. You give them a little extra roughage, but that's okay. So you give two eggs. You're gonna pour in two thirds cups of water. Then we're gonna pour in one third cup of vegetable oil. Yeah, get it all in there. Then we're going to mix it up. <laughs> Start out slow. You can use chocolate, vanilla, <laughs> any flavor you want. It's your favorite cake pudding, cake uh, mix that you're going to box cake mix. Or if you want to make it from scratch, be my guest. Once you get your uh, batter all mixed up, now we fill up the cups. About two thirds of the way. Don't ask me what's two-thirds. I'm going about a little under three-quarters, I guess. You fill those up now. And I'm using a big spoon because I don't have one of those fancy uh, scoopers. Never found one I liked. Don't worry if the paper doesn't stay down like that. See how it keeps bouncing up? Once you put your cake mix in it, it'll take it down. Watch. See? Hey, you made a liar out of me. Maybe a little more. Oh, there it goes. See? <laughs> Told you. It'll go down once you put your cake uh, batter in there. This way, over here. Now that we got it all panned out or filled up, we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 for 16 to 20 minutes. In that area, somewhere in that area. You know, at 16 minutes, take a toothpick, stick it in, pull it out. If it's not sticking, it's done. So, 16, 20 minutes, 350 preheated oven. In we go. Okay, it's been 17 minutes. Let's take a toothpick, stick it in, and see what happens. And it's clean. They're done. Stick it in, pull it out, and it's clean. It's done. Okay, cupcakes are out of the oven. You got to set them off to the side and let them cool off. They can't be warm or hot to the touch. They gotta be cool. Cause once we put the cannoli in it, we don't want the cannoli to melt, do we? No. But the next step, let's make the cannoli. Off we go. <laughs> now it's time to make the cannoli. You're gonna need at least eight ounces of this stuff, room temperature, and then you're gonna need uh, Oh, about 15, 16 ounces of this stuff. One cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one cup of mini chocolate chips. That's what we're going to need to make this. So I already got the, the mascarpone and uh, ricotta already in there. I'm going to put my one cup of uh, powdered sugar in there and my one teaspoon of vanilla in there. And now, Oh, get my spoon out of there. And now, ooh, don't you taste too damn. And now we're going to mix this up. Start a little slow so you don't get the sugar all over, the powdered sugar all over. Yeah, I think we're just about out of done. Peaking. Okay, 
Now once we got that well combined, we're going to take our one cup of mini chocolate chips, sweet, semi-sweet, whatever ones you want to use. Now we're going to fold this into our cannoli mix. Now once we got our cannoli mixed, we're going to take a knife and cut a nice size hole or surface, about an inch, something like that. Now you're going to take your fingers or thumb or whatever and try to push it down. Ooh, this cake's pretty springy. Push it in. And we're going to do this to all 12 cupcakes. We don't want to take that out. We just want to push it in. Like that. See? Do that to all 12 cupcakes. Don't you just love it when somebody tells you you forgot to do something or you did it and you didn't record it? Well, my producer here caught it. He goes, after you cut the hole into the cupcake, I was supposed to pipe in some cannoli into it. Well, I did, but we didn't videotape that part. Yeah, I know, I missed it, I missed it. I forgot, well, I didn't forget to record it. I just made a mistake, stopped the camera, <laughs> and I forgot to start it again. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, anyways, that's why you push the hole or cut that little hole into the cupcake you're supposed to fill that with cannoli also and just keep on going and piping and piping yeah 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 so we forgot that part anyhow that's what we got to do you fill the hole with cannoli and just keep piping it around and around my piping skills aren't that good but anyhow once you dip it into chocolate you won't notice <laughs> okay are you happy now okay but I got them done. I try to use this one with the fancy tip, but all the mini chocolate chips kept getting stuck in it. So make sure whatever tip you use, that chocolate chips could come through it. So anyhow, now we're going to put it in the freezer for one hour. Believe it or not, we got to let this go in the refrigerator or a freezer for one hour. Okay, now we got to put it in the freezer for one hour so they can set up before we dip the chocolate on them or dip them in chocolate <laughs> one hour in the freezer hey <laughs> I hate to interrupt this fun fill video but we skipped something else <laughs> you know the chocolate coating that we put on it well I I didn't show you what we did. We had the melt away chocolates that you buy in the little containers. And we follow what the instructions on there to melt our chocolate to dip our cupcakes into. Yeah. Well, we got a little distraction going on here at the house right now. So we, we kind of skipped that one and um, neglect to videotape that part too. Or if you want to take two cups of dark chocolate and three tablespoons of, spoons of coconut oil and mix that up. You know, it's your choice, but I found it a lot easier to use those microwave melt away chocolate stuff and um, mix that up. Follow the instructions and melt, melt that up, and that's what we use to dip our cupcakes in. So, <laughs> one more time. I think that's the only thing we missed. So, uh, other thing. Yeah. Anyhow, hey, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun. So, anyhow, <laughs> let's get back to the video. Okay, the cupcakes are out of the freezer. Yep, they're hard. And guess who's going to help me? Bree! Hey, wave! Hey, Bree! Okay, ready? Let's take a cupcake. You want to help, help Grampy? No? Okay, well, you take your cupcake and you dip it in your milk chocolate and then you set it off to the side. Then you take the next one, dip it in your chocolate, and sit it off to the side. And you continue to do that for all 12. Um, 
put your fingers like that. And you can move the chocolate closer to her. Sure, sure. Okay, go ahead, dip it. Well, they're all dipped in chocolate. Brie helped me, believe it or not, yeah. Well, with a little guidance from Jeanette. But uh, anyhow, they're all dipped. It's the first time we ever did this, so <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> well, taste time. <laughs> yep, not bad. The icing's nice hard. Cannoli doesn't taste too bad. Cupcake, I don't know yet. I haven't gotten to that part. Here, let me peel the paper back a little. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's try to let's try the whole thing now. <coughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> the chocolate topping makes it a little crunchy. So I give it a thumbs up. The only downside of this takes a long time because you gotta let the cupcakes cool. Then you gotta put the cupcakes in the freezer with the cannoli on it for an hour to set up. So, anyhow, three hours for whatever. But they taste like they're well worth it. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching. This old guy likes to bake, cook, and eat. Yes, I do. Until next time. Share this with somebody if you wish. Bye. I got to finish my uh, snack. <laughs> Another piece? Mm -hmm. Does that taste good? Yeah. Yeah. Grampy did a good job? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, there you have it. Bree said they were good. And you know what? She wanted another one. <laughs> she ate one whole cupcake by herself and wanted a second one. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.